Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to give your images a painterly look using Luminar AI. Now a little bit about Luminar AI, it can be used as a standalone program or it can also be used as a plugin with Lightroom and Photoshop. So if you're someone that uh, would prefer to use a program that you don't have to pay a subscription for like Photoshop and Lightroom, uh, Luminar is an option for you. Um, it's a one-off payment so uh, definitely an option there for you. So uh, let's dive in. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to locate my folder. Here it is here, Hack Panthers. I'm going to add that folder. And with that fol within that folder I like this image here. Uh, going by the thumbnails. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to edit. And down the bottom here there's a little bit of sellup tape at the bottom which I want to remove. So I'm going to go into the essentials and go to composition and I'm going to stick the composition as being the original composition and I like that, I'm just going to bring that over a little bit and once I'm happy with that I'm now going to accept it and there it's, it's changed that composition now I'm going to go over to the templates and on the templates you'll see that Lumina has analysed the image and says this would be suited for your nature I'm not sure why it's picked for Mac, but and there's also objects. So I'm going to go over back to nature and use that template as my starting point. And these are all the different ones. We'll just click through those and see what happens. Black and white. Um, micro world. Let's have a look at this. Uh, Arctic atoms, but bluish look. But I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to um, macro world and select that and I'm going to go to edit you see there that there's little white dots next to some of the labels there and that's and also in these sections here and that's saying that uh, in the template it has used those so let's go to light and within light I'm just going to go down to the curves and I'm just going to lift my blacks up a little bit just lift them to there and the whites I might just also bring across maybe just a little and that's all I'm going to do in the lights structure I'm going to bring that up and I'll just show you here because you take a closer look and you'll see what structure does here we go it's adding some structure there giving you more detail just turn that off and on And next I'm going to go to the Pro section and we'll go to Super Contrast and I'm only really going to do the uh, shadows here. And you'll see there it's lifting the shadows up under the buds. Just turn that off and on for you. You can see the difference here. They're very small changes but they make a big difference. Now I'm going to go to the uh, local masking and here you can add basic or texture I want texture so we're going there I'm going to locate my textures that I wish to use and within the textures here I have these which are generously given to me by Rich Harrington who um, has these great textures and I'm just playing around here so I'm just going to pick this I'm not I haven't tested these out at all um, I just grab this and we'll just see what happens. So I've got the opacity there, you can change up and down. I'm going to bring it down just a fraction. And now I'm going to use the eraser just to take down a few areas there in the buds. There's a few black spots in, in there that I wish to remove and just bring a bit more clarity into the um, buds there as well. So that's at 19%. I'm just going to go down the stalks, stems, sorry. Just going to go down the stems and bring that up a little bit more. And I'm just trying to get this to a place where I like it. We'll just take that up a little bit more and bring out those buds a bit more. So 
just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna bring that up a little just to see what happens you know, when you zoom that up um, okay you can flip them as well so this I'm just trialing and erring here just to see which position I like and I'll probably just leave it where it was I think and now I'm just going to paint a little bit back in, just around those edges of the, the buds. And just a just a fraction, it doesn't need a lot. Just want to smooth that out just a fraction more. And so this is just doing things to your taste, what you like. Okay, so I'm going to add another texture. You don't have to stop at one, you can add as many as you like. And which one should we choose? Just scroll down and have a look. And I don't know, we'll just choose this one. So, there we go, let's put that on top. And we're just going to, I'm going to use a radial mask now. Let's put that on there. Move it to the position that I like, and I like that. I like how it's adding a bit more to the, the stems, but it's uh, not so much on the buds. And I quite like that look. I'm just going to paint out a little bit more of that area there on the first texture, just because there's a little bit of a black spot there that I wish to remove. So I'm just fine tuning that first texture. Now we'll go into the creative and I just might add a little bit of mystical there which I suppose mystical is sort of like a I don't know it's hard to explain what it is but uh, you'll see the difference there if I zoom in there we go it just gives it that soft soft look which is quite nice I mean the texture's still there that from what we originally did. It's just got that soft look to it. I'm just gonna bring that back to where it once again doing taste. Now we're going to glow and I'm gonna to go to autumn autumn effect and bring that up. And we might just do the radio again and just Bring that in. You can also change the the shape of the mask. So bring that to more an oval type look. I think that's probably better suited. And really the glow is just happening on the outside there, which I like. So we'll go back into the essentials and I'm just going to give that a vignette. And crank that right down and then just change the size to suit where I would like it and I'm going to reposition that and then just bring the amount back up to where I get it to I'm, I'm happy with it and I'm going to go into the advanced settings there and I'm just going to bring the feather right up a bit more so it just smooths that transition out And then the inner lighter, I might just give that just a little bit. Just to bring that, makes those, it just brings them forward a bit, so. And I'm going to go back and do local masking and add another texture. And so look here. I like this 20th century vintage. We'll go there. There we go. And just seeing what we can do, I'll just go down to the advanced settings and maybe play with the. the blends. And it's just a matter of going through and finding something that you're you're happy with. 
management. So there's some quite interesting looks. I'm gonna go with color. Just gonna change the hue of the color. I'm gonna bring it to more greenish look. That's sort of, it's more in, in keeping with the, the uh, image itself. And I'll just turn that off and on. See what that's like. Off, on. And I might just bring down the, I think I'm going to bring down the saturation. No, I'll bring down the contrast. I'll bring it up. Bring down the contrast. Here's off and on. And it's very subtle, but I like that. So back into essentials, because I, I just think it needs a bit more of a crop. So I'm just going to bring that down so you can manually do it. And I'm kind of liking it there, I think. So it's still the original format. Sorry about that, that's a rubber struck going past. Now I'm just going to go into the details and I'm going to do the small, lift the small details up. And there you go, look at that. That's adding more detail into those small um, outlines, which I like. And you can also muck around there with the mount slider. I'm going to go save it. And if I go into my templates, go there, um, you'll see it there. And I'm just going to change the name to suit it. And what I like also is that uh, there you'll see in the little icon there, it's actually put a small image of what you're working on in there. So there you go. There's uh, how to give yourself a... Um, painted look i hope you enjoyed that and uh, i hope you'll subscribe to the channel and catch you next time